Hi, it's me, Sean, and welcome to Sparkling Success Principles Sunday. I wanted to share something that came up for me and it was really kind of this aha moment. <laughs> so I wanted to share it with you. Um, do you know how you have maybe had a great idea, a business concept, you know, some project you want to take on and, you know, it sounded really great. You just had this whole image and vision in your mind and you got excited and maybe you even shared this idea with a few people, right? And then something happened. Maybe you started to doubt yourself. You started to, you know, think like, is this really possible? Can I do this? How would I do this? You know, all of those things. And you kind of start to put the idea, that project on hold, you put it in a shelf. Well, I found a wine that represents that. So I wanna I want to talk about wine in this context for a little bit. Um, my husband and I went wine tasting many, many, many years ago. We tasted wines at a winery. We loved them, enjoyed them. We became wine members. And so we brought some of those wines home with us. When we got home, what did we do? We stored the wines. And over time, I guess we forgot about them. You know, other wines came into the picture that were more exciting, better quality maybe, or just like just more at top of mind. Um, things that are more readily available, more easily accessible, those kind of things started to happen. And so that wine, 2011, which I knew was a little bit older for a white wine, which really are typically made to be consumed within two to three years, especially this is not like a high priced wine. So I want you to look at this wine, okay? Look at the color. This is a very golden color. It's orange. <laughs> this is one, not a good wine, okay? This wine's gotten old. It's past its prime. It's not something that I'm excited about, um, something I'm even curious about, other than the color. So this is the white wine of Roussain. And here, if you take a look here, this is a really beautiful, crisp, unoaked Chardonnay. Because you can see the difference. So when you have an older white wine, it tends to turn a little brown. That's one of the ways you can tell it age on a wine. This is just totally turned, right? You can see the beautiful freshness of this Chardonnay. This is the Deloge Mendocino Organic Grape Chardonnay. Beautiful, unowed, really fresh, crisp, you know, just a wonderful white wine. But the idea here is just that, again, if you have something great, something you actually enjoy, you spent money on it, you became a member with it, you brought some bottles home, <laughs> and then you tucked it away, somewhere dark, somewhere where you never looked at it again, and then it turns. You know, ideas can be like that. Your business ideas, your projects, you know, things that you want to take on can be like that if we're not paying attention to them. If we just put them on a shelf, if we no longer look at them, if we no longer like, circle back and, and give them a taste again, you know, it's like we get, um, we just get into our mind about it, right? Or we forget. And so what I wanted to ask you today is that if you have a project that you are really excited about or passionate about, a year ago, a month ago, you know, two, three years ago, you know, if you were really passionate, or excited about something, but then you put it on the shelf, you put it away, you stop thinking about it, stop looking at it, stop, you know, paying attention about to it, stop sharing it for whatever reason. My invitation to you is to take it off the shelf, take it off the shelf now and re-examine it and say, is there life here? Is there life here that I just didn't want to go forward on? Did something get in the way? But at, the, at my heart, I'm, I really wanna do this. I really wanna do this. I don't want it to get all dark and turned and <laughs> like lose, losing its freshness. Um, so that's my invitation to you. Um, I definitely would love to hear if you do have a project or business idea or some new marketing idea or per person you want to partner with and you know you've gone back to that idea now and are looking at you know resurfacing it re popping it open popping the cork on it um, I'd love to hear about that 
So I wish you a really wonderful success Sunday, and I will see you again next week. And by the way, did I not say my name? This is Michonne Williams, your Vino V a lifestyle and consultant as well as your wine consultant. All right? With that, I'll say cheers, and I will be enjoying this glass of Chardonnay tonight. <laughs> All right. Take care.